Hello, my name is Rian Blom with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about upgrading Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services vApp on VMware to release 6.3.3 through redeploying the virtual machine. There are eight steps that you will need to complete. Step one is to back up the current AE Services database. Step two, shut down the AE Services virtual machine and rename the current AE Services virtual machine. Step three, install the target AE Services OVA with the same configuration as the AE Services VM you want to upgrade. This means use the same hostname, IP address and so on. Step four, start the AE Services virtual machine you created in step three. Step five, restore the AE Services database that you backed up in step one to the AE Services virtual machine you created in Step 3. Step 6. Install all required patches for AE Services Release 6.3.3. Step 7. After the restore is complete and all patches have been installed, verify the AE Services virtual machine is operating as expected. And lastly, Step 8, which is an optional step. If you do not require the AE Services virtual machine you renamed in Step 2, then you can delete that virtual machine. The next slide provides you with reference documentation that was used to put together this video. These documents contain the documented steps to follow as well as additional information. Step 1. Back up the current AE Services database. You need to access the AE Services Management Console in order to back up the configuration data. Next, log in with a CUST user and password, and then click on Maintenance, then Server Data. Under Server Data, you can click on Backup, then click on Continue, and the hyperlink provided to download the backup. You can choose a location on your local PC to store the backup file. Step 2. Shut down and then rename the current AE Services virtual machine. In this example, I am using the VMware vSphere Client virtual machine console to access the AE Services server I want to shut down. Log in as CUST, then SU to root. Then to initiate a graceful shutdown of the AE Services virtual machine, execute the command shutdown space dash h space now. This should take a couple of minutes, after which you should see the virtual machine is stopped. Once the server is in a stopped state, right click on the server name and select Rename. Rename the server name to something other than the original name. Step 3. Install the target AE Services OVA with the same configuration as the AE Services virtual machine you want to upgrade. In the VMware vSphere client, click on File, then Deploy OVF Template. Select the source location and OVF template you would like to upgrade to, then click on Next. Verify the template details and then click Next. Choose whether to accept the end user license agreement and then click on Next. Next specify a name as you want this virtual machine to appear in the VMware environment. Per Avaya documentation, choose Thick Provision Lazy Zeroed. Choose the same network configuration that was used with the previous AE Services virtual machine. Review the summary. Choose whether to power on the virtual machine after deployment and then click on Finish. Depending on where you are deploying the virtual machine from, your deployment time may vary. Step 4. Start the AE Services virtual machine you created in Step 3. From the VMware vSphere client, select the virtual machine you just deployed and then click on the Start icon. Next, you can click on the console tab to see the boot progress of this virtual machine. 
Once at the login prompt, log in as cust and su to root. Type the export command as shown on the screen and then type netconfig. In the configure network information screen, populate all the same settings that was used for the AE services server that you are upgrading from. All these values should match what was on the previous virtual machine. Then click on OK. Once back at the command prompt, type reboot and enter the command to reboot the server. Step 5. Restore the AE Services database that you backed up in Step 1 to the AE Services virtual machine you created in Step 3. Log back into the AE Services Management console. Since this is a new install, you need to accept the default password change notification. Then click on Maintenance, then Server Data and Restore. Click on Browse and locate the backup you took before. Then click on Restore. Next click on Restart Services. Then click on Restart. Step 6. Next we will install all required patches for AES Release 6.3.3. Using the PuTTY application, SSH to your AE Services server and log in as CUST. Then SU to root. When you check the software version, you will see that there is currently no patches installed on the system. We will be installing the bash shellshock patch first. For this demonstration I have pre-downloaded all my required files onto another Linux server that is available on my network and I am using the wget command to pull the files over to this AE services server. Once downloaded you can compare the file size to the information provided in each of the product support notices shown at the beginning of this video and you should also verify that the MD5 sum matches what is documented in the PSNs. Next change the permissions on the file then use the command provided in PSN 4303 to install the patch. Take note of the warning that the server will be rebooted and choose yes to continue. Once the server has finished rebooting, reconnect the PuTTY session and download the Linux security update patch 1. Check the file size and MD5 sum. Then set the correct executable permissions on the file. And then use the command from PSN 4304 to install the patch. You will receive the same warning advising of a server reboot after the patch installation. Choose yes and the installation will continue. Once the server has finished rebooting, reconnect the PuTTY session. Now when you check the software version you can see the patches that have been installed thus far. Next download the Linux security update patch 2. Again check the file size 
MD5 sum and set the correct permissions on the file. Then use the command from PSN4416 to install this Linux security update too. Once the server has finished rebooting, reconnect the PuTTY session and confirm the patch installed successfully. Next we will be installing AE Services 6.3.3 Super Patch 3. Download the file onto the server and check the size and MD5 sum. Then, use the command provided in PSN 4305 to install the super patch. This super patch does not automatically reboot the server, so we need to do that manually once the patch installation has been completed. Once the server has finished rebooting, use the SW version command again to verify you can see all the patches we have just installed. Step 7. After the restore is complete and all the patches have been installed, verify the AE Services virtual machine is operating as expected. Log back into the AES management console and click on AE Services. From here, you will want to see that the services you are using on the server is licensed, running and showing online. Next go to status and then status and control. From here you can go through the switch connection summary and any of the other services summaries to confirm that these services have started and are in the talking state. You can also check to see whether any third party clients have reconnected to the AE services server. Step 8. This is the final step and is optional. If you do not require the AE Services virtual machine you renamed in Step 2, you can delete that virtual machine at this point. From the VMware vSphere client, right click on the old AE Services server that you shut down earlier. Then click on Delete from Disk. And then confirm the delete. That concludes this video on how to upgrade a via Aura application enablement services vApp on VMware to release 6.3.3 through redeploying the virtual machine. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.